Hello everyone, my name is Lillian from Nairobi, Kenya. I want to just talk to us a little bit about what I think about the period on the menstrual situation in uh, Nairobi. Um, growing up as a girl, I know this is uh, one area in our life where we feel very uncomfortable and to this day many of us have grown, we are older, but it's still a very uncomfortable situation to be in mentally, psychologically, and I want to believe that especially in the poor countries where people are not, women are not able to afford even to buy uh, pads, sanitary pads or towels, it can be really crazy. Uh, I'm imagining even the, the, the poverty level, the, the money, you don't know whether you want you will buy food or you will buy pads and so it's really hard, especially when you're being discriminated upon. It is crazy, it can affect the mental status, it can affect you when you're isolated from activities because you cannot participate. When you're on your periods, you're not allowed to touch certain things because they believe that you are contaminating uh, the water and even everything that people are using. So it can be a very um, crazy situation to be in. And so when we make these um, utilities available for everyone, for the girls, for the women, especially out there in the local and rural areas, we help girls to be able to live a, a, a normal life. I like the... Um, the what do you call it? I like the theme of this month where we want to normalize it to just fit, fit into life, you know, to have a normal life. When you're on your periods, it should be normal. Life should go on normally. You should not be isolated from anything. And so today, please help change a girl's life, help change a woman's life by supporting and encouraging great hygiene, talking about it, uh, promoting... Um, local talks and meeting with women and just being able to help where we can by just supporting any activity that we see that needs uh, our help that we can support the women and the girls. Thank you very much. <coughs> this is how high up we are. I'm in an apartment that is so high. And this is what you see from this is the eighth floor. Wow, look at that. So scary. So now I don't want to use the lift. I'm using the stairs part of my exercise because I need to lose some weight. Oh my goodness, I just added some weight that I need to lose. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on losing my weight. This is the lift, but I'm not going to use the lift. just want to go all the way down. I'm waiting for a friend who is coming to pick me so that uh, she can take me around. Uh, so I'll just go down and wait for her. When she comes, I'll go back up. Of course, going up, I'll use the lift. Because ah, I don't know what time she's coming and I'm getting impatient. I just need to breathe some air. I'm going down when she comes and I'll go back up. That's a market down there. We're just right in the middle of the city center. I can actually walk to most of the places. You can see the ocean. 
it's not so far from me. I'm hoping actually we'll go to the ferry today. If not today, probably tomorrow. This is my attire for the day. Actually, Mombasa is so good. It's not so hot. I like the weather here. It's not so good. So it's not so hot as in Kilifi. Mombasa is just humid and nice. Have you seen my YouTube channel, my baby? No, no. My YouTube channel. Well, I do this. No, no, you like the food. See, now I have to tell people, by the way, I was here. How will they know I was here? You don't like stress here? I'm a celeb. Yeah, a celeb, let's move a celeb. I'm just folding some clothes that I had washed 
thank God my hosts helped me with that because um, she has a washing machine so it was easy for me just folding them and then I need to shower and uh, leave I'm going to meet a friend uh, this is what I want to wear today this is what I want to wear I'm going to meet a friend uh, so I have to cross the ferry on the other side then take a border to where the friend is and so I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing this on my own I've not been in Mombasa for quite a while so it will be an experience um, just uh, doing this on my own I hope to film for you some views on my way as I go and meet a friend I'm still in Mombasa for a few more days, still sorting out some personal issues, uh, trying to figure out one or two stuff before I head to Nairobi. So be with me as I'm still enjoying Mombasa. I'm heading to the ferry now. At least at this time there are not so many people. But let's see. Let's go experience together.
Saturday, so apparently there are not so many people uh, going on and uh, about. Yeah, so but if it was a weekend, I'm sure you've seen the other uh, videos I've done. There are so many people going about, going to work and going to different businesses. But today being a Saturday, still busy, but not so busy. the ocean doing what it does best mm. yeah today is Saturday mm. um, I'm here for one more day I just got a booking for Monday so I'll be traveling back to Nairobi on Monday. Um, I booked a bus which leaves at um, I don't know what 10 a.m. And so I have only today and tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll probably go to church here in Mombasa with the team here. But today I'm hanging out with a friend, the same friend you saw. In the previous video I'll probably show her to you <coughs> <coughs> sorry yeah so yeah this are my last two days here in Mombasa it's been real it's been real it's just barely 10 o'clock so I'm still woken up and my morning routine, I can breakfast. So now I'm just chilling, editing a video which should be out by Sunday because I want to capture the whole of Mombasa. But now on Monday, I'll be back in Nairobi. So I'll probably give you a tour of. My travel back to Nairobi because I'm going during the day and so probably I'll be able to see more on the way than when I was coming for the travel that night so you guys stay tuned um, meanwhile hmm, subscribe like watch my videos <sighs> write on the comment box what you think Mm, yeah, just uh, engage me in any of what you've seen or any topic that you would probably like me to touch on as we go. Yeah, but I hope in the meantime you're watching my videos. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back.
You mean so much to me because without you, there's no me. Ha. Yeah, without you, there's no me. Otherwise, who would be watching my videos? I'd be watching myself. Yeah, so keep me engaged. Keep watching my videos. Keep liking and share with your friends. Yeah, otherwise, let me continue doing what I was doing and we'll catch up with you guys later.